Hi, everyone, uh, brothers and sisters, and anyone who's listening. I'm going to do a reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, beginning at verse 1. Now, we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shewing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. He's speaking of the lawless one the man of sin being revealed in his time. Now here's um, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Now I know Many people have attributed the he in this verse to be the Holy Spirit. But when I read this and I see he and I think of the body of Christ, the one new man with Christ as the head and all those who are in Christ as his body, the members of his body. When I read this, that is the he I think of, the one new man. Now whether or not that is the right interpretation, I just want to share with you what I've come to um, to believe this is, you know, referring to as the he. Okay, so verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they might that they all might be damned who believeth not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness and when I read this it's been dropping in my spirit a lot over the last several weeks that all of the what we're attributing or with what many are attributing 
to end time signs like um, the large numbers of fish that are dying um, and all the other signs, water turning red and animals and birds dying and all the unrest, uh, especially in the Middle East and just all that we're hearing about in the news. And it keeps dropping into my spirit that this is not from God. This is not God's judgment, as many are, are saying. But this is Satan deceiving those who believe this. Um, and those who are saying this is God's judgment instead of recognizing that this is part of the deception, this is part of the delusion, and many are being fooled and into believing that this is God, when in fact it is not. And, and that's what I keep hearing, that this is Satan, and, and what he's doing is mimicking what the Bible says are end time signs and many are falling for it, especially those in the charismatic movement who are into all the signs and wonders and have not gotten, have not received the truth that that is all done away with, that that ended with the death of all the apostles. But many are still holding on to that as for now. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you that is what I'm hearing in my spirit and I and and I believe in my heart that the Holy Spirit is impressing on me. You know, we are called we are saved by God's grace through faith in Christ and in the finished work of the cross believing that Christ died for our sin and that he was buried and that he rose on the third day from the dead and, and that he was risen for our justification and God freely justifies all who put their faith in Christ and in his blood for the forgiveness of their sin I believe many are being turned away from the simple truth of the gospel. Many are being turned away because they see much of what is being done in the church is, is, looks like witchcraft. It looks like um, the work of devils instead of the work of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Faith is unseen. Uh, I don't know how to go in, into it uh, to explain it any better that, than Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him as righteousness. We are to believe God. We are to have faith in what Jesus did was all that was required for us to receive eternal life. And that is it. Not out there performing signs and wonders and miracles and, and all this stuff that is being done and all these prophecies and all this witchcraft is how I see it. And I'm just being honest. Okay, getting back to 2 Thessalonians, um, I'm still in chapter 2, and I'm going to read verse 13 through the end, um, which would be verse 17. Verse 13, but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning 
chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the tradition which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. End of verse. Amen. May the grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. In Jesus' name, amen.